So, um, yeah, it's an exciting opportunity for me to uh, present the film in front of people who are actually working uh, and researching in the field of security and international development. Because I think you have a completely uh, different perspective than a, say, film festival audience. And yeah, um, I just wanted to briefly introduce the film, and we can speak afterwards. Um, it's a feature film called We Were Rebels, and it's a 93 minute documentary film which was shot over two and a half years in South Sudan. And it traces the traje trajectory <laughs> of a um, young nation overwhelming euphoria from their recent independence until the outbreak of war in December 2013. And it's um, doing so by um, portraying the central character, who is a girl a former child soldier turned basketball captain. And we are following basically his story. And through that, um, tell, about this, uh, tell something about this time in South Sudan. Um, the film was uh, produced independently. <laughs> uh, just a little bit of the background. Um, we started with a workshop. It was a collaborative workshop with South Sudanese and Sudanese filmmakers around the time of uh, South Sudan's independence. Uh, where we produced some short films. This was uh, funded by the German um, embassy or foreign ministry. And um, one of the films portrayed, I guess, was a 10-minute film at the time of independence. Um, that's the project was called The Two Sudans, and you can find it online if you're interested. It's an online web documentary project um, from both countries. And um, th this one story seemed really strong to me, so we had the feeling we want to follow it and develop it into a long film. At the time, there was no funding, so <laughs> what, what, what Alice was uh, mentioning before about all these practical issues, I can, uh, yeah, it was just the same story. There was no money. We were uh, riding motorbike taxis with little equipment, and um, yeah, it was uh, very low profile, <laughs> which, but, which was also a chance. Um, and then German TV came in only one year after. And also my co-director, Florian, um, uh, he also joined the project afterwards. So in the first uh, scenes you'll see in the film, during Indefense, I was completely on my own with sound and camera, and yeah, it was quite exciting and challenging, but um, yeah, it all worked out fine. So apart from these practical uh, challenges, uh, um, I think for a filmmaker, the biggest uh, challenge in a conflict or post-conflict environment in the beginning uh, is to build trust. So I think this, uh, uh, this um, you can say that for all the areas everybody here is working in, but especially to have somebody sitting in front of a camera telling his personal story, um, touching on sensitive issues is even it needs even more trust than uh, if you are taking notes and um, so uh, I think that was the the biggest issue especially because it's a character driven film um, and you need to go further than just in a news report and you have to stay with the person and, uh, so the only um, way I found <laughs> this, can, this trust can be built is by taking time, not to rush it and to take a lot of time. So we spend more than four months, uh, I mean, over this period of two and a half years, a total of four or five months uh, with Agar. And uh, what you see in the film is just a very small percentage of what we actually discussed. So often we had to, we didn't take the camera, we didn't film, we had a lot of talks, long nights, discussion about this and that, to, uh, to have this feeling that at certain times we can take the camera and that he is relaxed and easy going. So I think as he's in the film now, he is also in reality, which is quite a challenge to achieve. Um, so you will see that uh, as opposed to a journalistic approach or academic approach, the film is subjective. <laughs> it's a very personal angle of, of telling a story, but I still believe uh, it does um, go beyond the story of a girl and tells a lot about South Sudan and its development. Um, I once heard a saying which I would roughly translate from German into um, in every village lake the whole world is reflected, <laughs> something like that. So I think uh, yeah, it's really going into one detailed story, but I, th I think I believe it can tell more. Um, so yeah, there was never the approach to tell the whole story or to be very 
um, objective. Nevertheless, we try to balance what he's saying and his personal perspective by putting some text. And um, that was really the biggest challenge of doing the editing. We, uh, we spent a lot of time in the editing room, around um, eight or nine months. Um, and the, is that the biggest challenge was that we knew our audience would be TV, uh, the German TV public uh, audience. So uh, there's people who don't even know where South Sudan is on the map. So you really have to start <laughs> by zero at the same time. You have to reduce a very complex political situation and development into a form where everybody can understand it without being completely superficial. Um, that was uh, quite a big challenge. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, I think I stop here. Um, uh, any questions afterwards? And yeah, we're very happy that the, the film is um, being screened now in several festivals. and. It also uh, just won last week the in Germany, I guess, the most, uh, the, the TV award with the biggest tradition in Germany, I could say. And yeah, so it's nice after all these years. Yeah. So Thank enjoy you the very film, much. I hope. <laughs> Thank you.